In this video, we'll be looking at how to factorize algebraic fractions. Now, if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. So we want to look at how to factorize algebraic fractions, all right? So hopefully we can complete about five to six examples to help you guys better understand this concept, all right? So let's say example one, we had 7x minus 35 over 21, all right? So what we want to do first is to actually factorize the numerator, all right? So we're going to factor the numerator. So here we have 7x minus 35. So we want to identify the highest common factor. And of course, we only have, have x in this term. We don't have any x over here. So that won't be x. We'll look at the numbers. What's the highest common factor for 7 and 35? That would be 7, all right? So 7 can go into itself without leaving a remainder. And 7 can go into 35 without leaving a remainder. If we factored out 7, we can divide each term by 7. No, 7x divided by 7, we'll be left with the x, put back our minus sign right there. 35 divided by 7, that's 5. All right, and in the denominator, we still have the 21. All right, what we can do now is to use the 7 and reduce this 21 right here. So 7 into itself goes 1 times, 7 into 21 goes 3 times, all right? So this would be the same thing as x minus 5 in the numerator over 3, all right? So if we factorize and simplify this thing, this is what we'll obtain, x minus 5 over 3. Now let's look at example 2. So what if we had 5x minus 25 over 10x squared, all right? Again, we'll factor, factorize the numerator, all right? So here we have 5x, one term is 5x, the other term is 25. Now, if we look at this thing, we have x over here, no x over here. So of course, that won't be x. We can't factor out x out of that. Next thing is to do is to look at both these numbers and to identify the highest common factor, all right? And that would be 5. So we can factor out 5 out of this thing. Now after we factor out the 5, we can divide each term by the 5. So 5x divided by 5, I'll be left with x. Put back the minus sign. 25 divided by 5, that's 5, all right? Over 10x squared, all right? And I can use this 5 to reduce this 10 a little bit. So 5 into itself goes 1. 5 into 10 goes 2. So this is the same thing as x minus 5 over 2x squared, all right? So this would have been my solution for this particular example. Now let's look at example 3. Let's say we had 20x squared minus 40x all over 15x squared, all right? Again, we're going to factorize the numerator, all right? So Let's look at this. We have 20 over here, 40 over here. We have an x, we have x squared over here and x. So we can get an x out of that. But let's first look at the numbers, all right? So what's the highest common factor for 20 and 40? Of course, that's 20, all right? So 20 can go into itself without leaving a remainder. And 20 can also go into 40 without leaving a remainder. Now we have um, x over here and x over here. So we are going to take the x with the lowest index. So we'll take the x right here. So this is the same thing as x to the power of 1. So, so what we can do now is to actually divide each term by what we would have factored out, which is 20x. So 20x squared divided by 20x, that leaves us with just x. Put back our minus sign. 40x divided by 20x, that will leave me with 2. All right, so 20 into 40 goes two times, x cancel x, x and x cancel x, all right? So this is what we'll get in the numerator if we factorize this thing. Down here, we'll have the 15x squared. And we can 
simplify a little bit, all right? So 5 going to 24 times, 5 going to 15 three times, all right? And we can use this x to cancel one of the x right here. So x square will, will just become x to the power of 1, which is the same thing as x, all right? So in the numerator, we'll be left with 4 times x minus 2 in bracket over 3x, all right? So that's how we'll actually factorize this particular fraction right here. Let's look at example four. So what if we had 8ab minus 16b all over 24ab, all right? So again, we are going to factorize the numerator. So let's look at the numbers first. Now we want to identify the highest common factor for 8 and 16, and that's 8. So 8 can go into itself, and 8 can go into 16 without leaving a remainder. We'll look over here. We have b, and we have b over here, so we can also factor out b. And if no, what we can do is to divide each term by what we have factored out. So 8ab divided by 8b, that will leave us with a minus 8 into 16 goes 2 times. B, B would cancel B right there. So we'll have A minus 2 in bracket over 24AB. All right. So we have 8B times A minus 2 in bracket all over 24AB. All right. So we can reduce a little bit. It can go into itself once. All right. And 8 can go into this thing three times. So 8 going to 24 three times. All right. So we can also use B to cancel B. So we'll be left with A minus 2 in the numerator. And we'll have 3A in the denominator. All right. So this would be the result that we'll obtain from that particular example. Now let's look at example 5. All right. So what if we had 9cd squared minus 24d squared all over 15d, all right? Again, we want to factorize what's in the numerator. So if we do that, now what we want to do, well, let's look at the numbers first. What's the highest common factor for 9 and 24? That would be 3, all right? Let's look what is common among these two terms in the numerator again. We'll look at this. We can also factor out d squared. All right, so what we're going to do now is to divide each term by 3d squared, all right? And if we do that, we'll obtain 3 into 9 goes 3 times, all right? We'll have the c just the same, d cancel d. So after we divide um, 9cd squared by 3d squared, we'll be left with 3c, all right? Minus, we can divide this thing again by 3d squared, so 24d squared divided by 3d squared, 3 into 24 goes 8 times, d squared will cancel d squared, so that's what we'll have in bracket, and we'll put this thing over the denominator, which is 15d, all right? Now we can do some canceling here, so 3 going to itself 1, 3 into 15 goes 5 times, this d down here will cancel one of the d here, so we'll be left with d to the power of 1, which is the same thing as d. And this will give me d. Inside the bracket, I'll still have the 3c minus 8 all over 5. And that's pretty much a solution for this example. Now, now let's look at the final example, example 6, all right? So what if we had something that looks like this? So... Let's say we had 14EFG squared plus 7EF to the power of 2 all over 21EFG, all right? So again, we are going to factorize the numerator. So let's look at the numbers first. So what can we get out of this, all right? What's the highest common factor for 14 and 7? That would be 7. Let's look what else we can factor out. We see E over here and E over here, so we can also factor E. And we have f here and f squared, so we're going to take um, the f with the lowest index. And that would be f to the power of 1, which is the same thing as f. All right. Now we are going to divide each term by what we have factored out. So 
14 EFG squared divided by 7 EF. So we can look at the numbers first. So it's 14 divided by 7. That's 2. All right. And E would cancel E. F would cancel F. And we'll be left with G squared here. All right. So 2G squared. Plus, let's see what we'll get when we treat with this thing. 7 into 7. Those things cancel. E cancel E. F into F squared. I'll be left with F. All right, and that's what we'll obtain if we factorize the, um, the numerator. And we had 21 E, F, G in the denominator. And we can do some canceling here. So 7 into itself goes 1. 7 into 21 goes 3 times. E cancel E, F cancel F. So let's see what we're left with. We'll be left with 2G squared plus f all over 3g all right so this is pretty much how you factorize a algebraic fraction all right so this is where we'll end today's video if you have watched this video to the end don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos all right as always thanks for watching